Stocks our strategists feel are poised to deliver positive returns are featured now in their top stock picks of the week. Welcome to this week's Top Stock Picks of the Week. I'm Tracy Reinick, and I'm joined by Ben Rains for our two top stock picks. You know you want them, so we're bringing them to you. These Zacks number one rank strong buys. They're the best of the best. And during earnings season, we see it change a lot because companies reporting, they might beat and raise earnings estimates being revised higher. And then, bam, you get a Zacks number one rank. This stock that I'm covering is on the AI side of things, and that's why it's hot. Ben also has an AI stock that's really hot. So interesting, we don't coordinate, and we both chose the AI trade this week. My stock is ServiceNow, ticker N-O-W. Those of you who watch the Earnings All-Stars videos know that I definitely feature it every quarter because they have a great earnings surprise track record. And they didn't disappoint again this quarter. They did beat again. And business is still good. I've marveled at this chart for years on the Earnings All-Stars videos, and now I'm sharing it with you to marvel again at what's going on, both with sales growth and earnings growth, both in the double digits. Still, you're not getting it cheap, but let's dive in and see what is actually going on with these earnings estimates now that they've reported. What are the analysts doing because we know they're going higher if they've got the Zach's number one rank right now. So let's dive in. Okay, so ServiceNow obviously is Zach's number one rank. On the style scores, like I said, it's not cheap. It's got an F for value, a C for growth, and a C for momentum with a D overall score. But I'm not surprised by that on any of these metrics, really. But it still keeps executing. So forward PE on the not cheap side, like I said, it's at 68 times. Let's take a look at those detailed estimates because that tells the story about what the analysts are seeing. As I mentioned, double-digit growth on both sales, 22% for this year, but we're already thinking of 2025, so 20% expected again for next year. These are really hard and high numbers to do for a company of ServiceNow size. This is a you know billion-dollar company, and it's still able to grow year over year its revenue in the double digits and even over 20%. So this is what I really respect about a lot of the tech companies right now, and this is what AI is driving. But even on the earnings side, look at 2024, up 28%, but 2025, another 18%. And again, I do like looking at 2025. So this is interesting on the agreement and the estimate revisions. So we had the earnings come in and we can see the analysts are bullish about both this year and next year. But some of them still configuring for next year with five down in the last 30 days, seven are higher, though. So that's, you know, kind of canceling each other out there. But one is higher, both for this year and next year, and none are lower in the last week for service now. And then just taking a look at what the consensus has done, you can see this year it has surged up in the last 90 days, but not by a lot. But this year for 2025, you can see this is the five cuts here. Analysts bringing it down a little bit off of what they were looking at 30 days ago. So a little bit of mixed news there, but still the 18% growth. And what is it looking like on the price and consensus chart? This is my favorite chart on Zax.com. And this is what I'm talking about when I say that I just can't believe it's still doing this year over year over year. This is solid double-digit earnings growth year over year. And this is the type of price and consensus chart you want to see just up and to the right, very consistent growth. It's not a sudden thing like we're going to see on a price and consensus chart for what Ben is going to talk about. But this one, very consistent. And you can see the bigger gains here going on as that earnings growth starts to stretch out a bit here. And shares, you know, back up to all-time highs once again, year-to-date up 33%. 
But again, a little bit stretched on the PE at 68 times. For now, people are willing to pay it. 2022 was the big sell-off in the tech stocks and the growth names. And you got a chance to buy ServiceNow at a much cheaper price back in 2022. Will we see another sell-off like that where we get another buying opportunity? We'll see. But for right now, it's still got the momentum, it's still moving higher, and it's still executing with these excellent sales and earnings numbers. This is the epitome of a Zach's number one rank, but I'm going to throw it over to Ben now, and he's going to talk about another one that is also red hot. I own it in the Zach's value investor portfolio and my own personal portfolio. So I'm turning it over to Ben with his hot number one stock. Thanks, Tracy. Hello, everybody. Ben Rains here with my top stock pick of the week at Zach's. Today, I'm looking at Vertiv, which trades on the ticker VRT. The simple bull case for Vertiv is that it's a picks and shovels AI stock. It's partners with the current king of AI, NVIDIA. It will grow no matter who eventually comes to dominate artificial intelligence. Vertiv's power, cooling, and IT infrastructure solutions and services operate across data centers, communication networks, and beyond. Vertiv helps the computing power needed to drive the modern economy run as smoothly as possible around the clock. Vertiv's product categories include critical power, thermal management, racks and enclosures, monitoring and management, and more. Vertiv is partners with, as I mentioned up top, NVIDIA to help solve future data center efficiency and cooling challenges as the world of AI explodes. And most recently, Vertiv posted a strong beat and raise third quarter on October 23rd. And its CEO said at the time that its pipeline continues to grow and they noted that there's clear indications of acceleration in AI development that are truly encouraging driving demand across its quote, entire AI enabling portfolio. Vertiv was also encouraged by the acceleration of its liquid cooling revenue, which is still uh, a small yet immature market, but it's now a visible contributor to its third quarter results. So that's a good sign. So now we're going to head over to Zax.com ticker page for Vertiv in our ZRS system to look at a little more uh, details of Vertiv and why you might want to consider buying the stock at the moment. All right. So now we're on the Zax.com ticker page for Vertiv, and we can see that it is a Zax rank number one strong buy at the moment. We'll get to the reason for that in a second, but I quickly want to start by looking at its growth outlook overall for the top line. So we're calling for 14% revenue growth this year to go from about 6.9 billion to 7 or 7.8 billion in 2024, and then another 16% growth next year to get to about 9.1 billion. So some really impressive top line growth this year and next. And then the bottom line, we're calling for 52% adjusted earnings growth from $1.77 per share to $2.69 per share, and then another 30% growth next year to go all the way to up to $3.50 per share. And as I mentioned up top, the company posted a beat raise third quarter, so we can see that its estimates are trending higher after that impressive third quarter, so we can see that it, its 2024 estimate went from $2.59 to $2.69, and its 2025 estimate went from $3.33 to $3.50. We can see that it's now beat by an average of 10% on the bottom line in the trailing four quarters. So that's a positive sign as well. And I then want to go over to just to give a sense of how high Wall Street is in the stock. So we can see of the 12 brokerage recommendations that Zach's has for Vertiv, all 12 are coming in at strong buys and it's trading at a roughly 16 and a half, so 17% discount to its average Zach's price target, which is really impressive, especially when we consider that if we look over here on our ZRS system, the stock's up over 930% in the last five years. This is blowing away the tech sector, which is up just 135% during that time. If we go over the last, let's go over the last two years, we can see stocks up a whopping 630% compared to tech's 95% climb. And this is after the last two years. So that's essentially when the market bottomed roughly two years ago just to give a sense of that. And if we go year to date, we can see that Vertiv is up 121% compared to Tech's 24%. It's pulled back a little bit after its most recent release as people, it, it popped a little bit to new all-time highs and it's pulled back a little bit as people take some profits. Now we'll go ahead and take a look at some valuation metrics for Vertiv to give a sense that despite its massive growth over the last several years and its ability to blow away tech it's not actually trading at that much of a premium to the tech sector. It's trading at 31.7 times forward 12-month earnings, which is actually solidly below its own highs at around 39. 
0.3 times forward earnings and not too far above tech, as I said, which is trading at 26.2. And if we go ahead and take a look at some of its technical charts, we can see for anyone looking at some of these, maybe when they want to if they want to see a larger pullback. So right now, Vertib's trading under its 21-day moving average, went from heavily overbought RSI levels here, nearly 83, when it peaked recently, now below neutral. So if you're waiting for a little bit more of a pullback, maybe that 50-day moving average would be kind of a, a screaming buy. But if you're a longer-term investor, don't try to get too into trying to play the exact right bottom because that's going to be difficult as you could maybe miss out on a longer rise forward as you wait and wait and wait for the bigger pullback that might not actually come anytime soon. In the end, the constant expansion of data centers and the rise of AI systems, cryptocurrencies, and other new technologies provide Vertib with a massive runway. It appears to be a stock worth considering and putting on your radar right now. So that does it for me in this episode of Top Stock Picks at Zacks. Please head over to our zacks.com slash promo page for a look into our services, portfolios, and more.